I am so embarrassed by this room. Ew. I am warning you now. This video is not cute. It is not aesthetic, but man, was it needed. I had let my home reach a whole new level of mess, a level that I had never quite reached before. And maybe I was waiting for perfect timing, such as the new year, <laughs> to actually get my life together, reset my home. And guess what? We are doing it together. In this video, we are decluttering, refreshing, and cleaning. This is your sign to refresh your home for the new year. I hope you find it motivating, and let's get into it. I am embarrassed, kind of debating whether or not to film this video. It's the new year, happy 2024. I am filming a little series on my channel that is dedicated to becoming the best version of you in 2024. And so all videos in January are gonna be themed around that. I've been away for Christmas. I went and stayed with my family for two weeks, which was so lovely. I got to be in such a lazy, childlike state. So I'm filming this on the 3rd of January. I actually can't concentrate. I can't get any work done because my flat is just, it's so bad. I feel like it actually looks okay in this angle that you saw earlier. I think the main takeaway from this video is use this as motivation to never let your living space get as bad as mine. Bed sheets are already in the wash. That's a good start for prep to get us motivated. I am gonna light a couple candles. I'm gonna put my diffuser on to get everything smelling good. Make myself a drink. And also I have started listening to audiobooks because Spotify now has audiobooks. 101 essays that will change the way you think. I've been wanting to read this book for ages. I've literally just been listening to it like a little podcast. That's what I'm gonna have in my ears. First, let's make a little drink. Since it is the new year, and I'm sure we all have like new healthy habits we're trying to stay on top of, one of mine is to be really consistent with my AG1 drink. This is a nutritional drink. I usually take this every morning. I'm a little bit late today, but I thought it'd be my little energizer <laughs> for this cleanup I'm about to do. I rave about AG1 so much on my channel. I have the pleasure of working with them again in this video, so thank you AG1 for sponsoring. I've been drinking this, it's actually coming up to almost a year now, and I started taking it because I just had no idea like what supplements, what vitamins I should be taking on a daily basis. I feel like that industry is almost so saturated and we're told to take like 15 different pills a day. So I love AG1 because of the simplicity. One scoop a day, this contains 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, amazing high quality ingredients packed in that little scoop. And then you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna add water. Such a key like ritual to my morning routine. I love it because of what it does to your energy levels, your focus levels, but also has benefits for your hair, skin, and nails. Also improves immunity, which is obviously really important for this time of year. Helps bridge that nutrient gap. If you're struggling to get all the nutrients you need from your diet, this is covering you. Really notice a difference when I don't take this. Definitely when I'm being less consistent with it, I will start to feel a little bit more sluggish. It just has become so apparent to me like how much better taking this on a daily basis makes you feel. And I have been taking this, like I said, for almost a year, which I feel like has given me such a good run to see if it actually works for me. AG1 have, let me show you. So they have these little travel packs because obviously the key with this is that you're consistent with it. If you're thinking about maybe trying out AG1 now with the new year, a perfect time to start some new healthy habits, see how you get on. Make sure to use my link, I'll have it on the screen and also linked below in the description. But it will get you free five travel packs and also a year supply of this vitamin D3 plus K2. That will come for free with your first purchase. Cheers. If you try it out, let me know what you think. Oh. Okay, I've lugged my Christmas box out of the cupboard. Honestly, I knew I was gonna need more space than this for this year. It wasn't my intention to buy that much decor, but I found this like little storage container on Amazon. I'm not recommending it yet. We're gonna see how well that works. And then also this Christmas tree storage bag. <sighs> 
Let's begin. I don't know how. I am literally tired already. That was definitely gonna happen. Christmas tree put away, bubbles put away. I've actually kind of spontaneously decided that I'm really sick of this plant, <laughs> this like fake tree from Ikea. So I've like put on my group chat because where I live there's a group chat and I'm just giving it away for free because I hate it. I feel like it looks really artificial. I've just been hiding it like in that corner for ages. So, oh, someone has already Offered to take it off my hands. Being a little lunch break because you know your girl needs some fuel for all this cleaning. So I've made some sushi rice with salmon. One of my favorite little like healthy lunch or dinner recipes. Look how sticky. Okay, this looks really simple and boring, but it's actually really yummy. So now we're tackling the kitchen, which is really, really bad. I hate how just cluttered my countertops have become. I mean, like, obviously all of this doesn't live here. I've got some shampoos and stuff there for some reason. And then obviously this is just a mess. Ugh, but like this section, because you don't see this immediately, this is where we just hide stuff and like we don't think about it. So... Yeah, I'm gonna try to put everything away in a cupboard. And then some of these cupboards just needs a little rejig. But we're gonna start with the fridge. These bits get so sticky. Okay, Will is watching the darts final. I'm gonna continue with these covers because it's actually taking me all day, but it's satisfying. Tell them that I have helped you a little. <laughs> tackling the cupboard from hell pretty bad and yes <laughs> don't mind him in order to fit the christmas decorations in here then this needs completely rejuggled taking the bins out i'm not gonna lie i am so tired it's the end of the day it's taking me so much longer so we're gonna resume with cleaning tomorrow morning. <laughs> it is day two. We are continuing on this very thorough deep clean declutter with me. I didn't even show you yesterday. Okay, my kitchen doesn't look good right now because I just made breakfast, but like finished with just organizing these. We're gonna continue on with the rest of my flat. Next up, don't pretend that you guys don't need to do this too. I mean, so gross. Like, no organization at all. I feel like I need to check things out. I need to be brutal. Just taking the whole drawer out and look at how much. Ah, was here. I felt like 
I was losing stuff and now this makes sense. So much better. Look at that. Whew. That took like over an hour though. Okay, up next on the declutter list. This is gonna take even longer. The closet. I feel like I'm quite good at keeping up with like quarterly declutter. I'd say I do it about four times a year. There's too much. There's too much going on in here and I don't have enough room. And I have so much laundry sitting on top of that cage. What I'm gonna do, and I recommend that you do this at least once a year, is just go through your wardrobe and genuinely ask yourself, do I wear it? Do I love it? Is it part of my style? Wardrobe has been organized, so we're gonna put all this laundry away. I think it might be like three hours later, but she's done. Little tip I have, I have these lush bath bombs. And these are the Snow Fairy ones and they smell so strong. So I just pop them like in my wardrobe and it helps make my clothes smell good. Okay, moving on. Is my bathroom is not too big, but what I wanna do in here is like, you can see up here, since coming home after being away, I've just dumped all my toiletries on the surface and it looks terrible. They all need to be put away. I also feel like I have so many products that I don't use. I know I have a lot of just empty bottles that for some reason I'm in a terrible habit of leaving. Storage in my bathroom is pretty terrible. So I have this, I think this is from Zara Home and I use this to store a lot of stuff, but I need to go through it and try chuck some stuff. This looks horrendous and I have a nice like decorative dish here that you can't even see. This, I love this little basket, but I need to actually put things in there that I use every day. cleaned in here yet. I feel so much better. We're making progress. Before I do, without a doubt, the worst, worst room in my apartment. You can have a little sneak peek. Ah! I'm gonna do this area. A spot that I literally haven't declared since we moved in here is we have this little trolley here where we keep hats and stuff. Just this area. I got this little trolley from Ikea, it's super handy, but there's too much stuff in it right now, so I'm gonna go through it. <laughs> I am so embarrassed by this room. <laughs> These boxes, for those of you who are OGs, we used to live in Edinburgh and we had actually bought a place in Edinburgh so we had a whole house to fill <laughs> with furniture, with everything, with decor. And when we moved here, we literally could only bring our car and like pack up our car. And it's only just now that we have like these boxes, which are from our old home. And now since it's been two years, like I don't need anything that is in those boxes. It's a long story. Oh, it's so tedious. Those boxes are filled with like old crockery, pans, uh, just all of that stuff. And I've arranged for collection from for like a charity, but I need to like, reorganize the boxes so that they're all with the same things. That's just my excuse for like why this room's gotten so bad. I might start with just simply like trying to literally see the floor again because yeah. Of course, it's a new day. I left you guys last night when I was sorting out all of those boxes. Knack of me, and I had to call it a day. I think I finished at like 11. We're carrying on. Plan is finished with this room, and then the declutter is officially finished. I'm walking through the rest of my flat that's all been done. 
and it just like it feels so good whereas here arguably like the room I actually spend most of my day in and then we're gonna do the bake clean hence the grubby appearance plan of action is definitely start with this area I try to use these as like a place where I store work stuff because obviously it's close to my desk This feels so much better. I just have such an issue with like never being able to find things. This is our second closet obviously. So I'm gonna take stuff out. We have these really good massive baskets here from Danelle that I love. I swear one of these is empty. Probably put tons of clothes in here. I don't know. See, what did I tell you? I'm clean. Start in the kitchen. This is a little tip. I love doing to make your home smell so good. You just gotta fill your kettle, boil it, fill your sink with it, and then pop in a little bit of Zeflora, and it'll just make your house smell so clean. I can't even tell you how much better I feel. That took me so much longer than I thought it would. I don't know what I was thinking, assuming that was gonna take me an afternoon. I'm crossing all my fingers and toes, hopefully moving this year. And Will was saying like, it's just so much better. It'll be like way easier knowing that we've gone through like all the guff, every nook and cranny of this flat. Feels good for the space to be clean. Just like I feel a lot calmer already. The last stage and this, won't take too long but it is also really important to do is a little digital declutter at the start of the year i find it is like kind of the perfect time to go through your photo album get your phone storage down i'm gonna go through that i'm gonna delete all 
apps that like I have on my phone taking up space I don't even use. Huge one that makes me feel so much better. It's something that literally affects me every day. Like every day at 9am I get a freaking email from Danelm with I'm on their daily mailing list and like it will always distract me. I might never go open the email but like I'll look at my phone, it'll take me out of what I'm doing. And I don't need those notifications, I don't need those emails, so I'm gonna go unsubscribe to a bunch of different emails, delete old message threads. I was looking at my storage and like, there's just so much space taken up there. Yeah, we gotta freshen up our digital space as well. I'm also just gonna run Clean My Mac. It's just a software that like goes through a bunch of folders, etc., files, and just cleans up everything. <laughs> 